A single man who was an aerospace engineer, automotive engineer and race car driver that became famous for crashing a Bugatti at Watkins Glen International. Not only that, he later designed a car that nobody could pass without looking or asking. Millikan's findings on the wheel geometry thanks to the camber car, which had a ridiculous appearance, may be one of the most influential studies in the history of vehicle dynamics. William F. Millikan Jr. was born in Old Town, Maine in 1911 and began his engineering path at the age of 16 in 1927 when he developed his own aircraft. Despite crashing it, he continued his studies at MIT where he graduated with a degree in aeronautical engineering and mathematics. In 1940, he joined the Boeing development team responsible for the B-17 and B-29 bombers used during World War II, where he worked for 20 years specializing in aircraft stability and control. Alongside his work on aircraft, Millikan was also passionate about cars. In the late 1940s, he participated in the Pikes Peak and Watkins Glen Grand Prix and, alongside other gentlemen, founded and designed the Watkins Glen track. His name is also associated with the Millikan's Corner, a turn 6.2 miles after the start, where, at the age of 37, he flipped a Bugatti. Millikan took part in over 100 post-war races, which sparked his interest in studying stability and control of racing cars. His intention was to potentially apply aircraft knowledge to the automotive industry. In 1960, Bill began working on a secret project to research vehicle dynamics, which took seven years to complete. He aimed to answer several questions and developed a home-built car called the Millikan MX-1. Like many race cars of the time, it had a cigar-shaped chassis and double wishbone suspension with torsion bar springs and multiple chassis mounting points, allowing for a wide range of wheel geometry setups. The main goal was to study camber and its effect on the vehicle's dynamics and cornering ability. The car's chassis allowed for a camber range from 0 to minus 50 degrees using four motorcycle tires to take advantage of the extreme amount of camber. Initially, the car had issues going in a straight line, which were later addressed by increasing the positive cast angle which also added further camber angle during steering. Bill tested the MX-1 in his backyard, but later received road registration to further study vehicle dynamics. The car had a rear mid-engine chassis and was powered by a Mercury Marine two-stroke straight-six engine, known as the Tower of Power, placed 90 degrees sideways longitudinally behind the driver. The 1500cc engine delivered about 80 horsepower to the rear wheels through a Volkswagen made 4 speed transmission. Although further details are unknown, the MX1 was set to corner at remarkable speeds. It took years to complete the project, and several additional years were spent learning from the car. In 1976, at the age of 65, Bill founded Millikan Research Associates Inc., which later released a book, Race Car Vehicle Dynamics, written by Bill and his son Douglas. They published the studies and findings from the project. Allegedly, over 14,000 copies were printed and sold worldwide, with about 10 books delivered to the Ferrari GP team. This could be understood as laying the foundation for modern understanding of vehicle dynamics. After years in storage, the MX-1 was recommissioned by Bill's friend Dean Butler, an automotive enthusiast, and appeared at the 2002 Goodwood Festival Speed. Bill even drove the famous camp car up the hill at Goodwood at the age of 91, grabbing the attention of both ordinary visitors and engineers alike. Classic and sports car international editor Mick Walsh had the honor of testing the car and noted that the human factor gives in long before the steeply cambered outer motorcycle tires. Whizzing around a tire circumference, this bizarre creation achieves 1G with no sign of slipping off course. It's one of the most amazing machines I've ever driven, and meeting Bill was such a privilege. 
a remarkable man. Bill also had an influence on other aspects of the automotive business and thanks to his contacts, he managed to set up a deal between GM and Lotus and Chevrolet thought of a 4K Corvette. William F. Milliken died peacefully at the age of 101 in 2012, but prior to that, he received various honorable awards for his aerospace and automotive work, and the MRA company was passed on to his son.